What is up, guys? Uh, we are going to be entering jellyfish worlds for this portion of the playthrough. Um, <clears throat> ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish field. Of jellyfish field. Place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Uh oh, squidlets for it. What is he even doing here? Wouldn't you try and like, move away? <laughs> Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look <laughs> clammy and... Oh my gosh, you're, you're bald. bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe, severe jellyfish, jellyfish stings, stings can be treated, treated effectively by applying a thick, thick layer, layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. areas. Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of king jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! Whoa. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. So basically, every level has this sort of premise that what you're meant to do, and then you collect additional good and special the same way. Now, um, the thing that you have to do for this level is to is a teleport box and you just make it basically open it and when the other one's open you can jump to different areas. Now the premise of this level is to get to the end of it, as they all are, but you're just trying to get to the end of it specifically to get Squidward's, um, Squidward's jellyfish jelly for his many wounds that you caused by having to make him run away from the robots. So, so, yeah, I'm basically just going through and getting Patrick's Golden Socks. I'm not, I'll make a video probably at the end where I, uh, where I go through and grab all the ones I haven't grabbed or look at all the locations of them. So, the first uh, thing you'll encounter when you play this game that's kind of annoying is that you have to pay for areas to, for the shiny objects. Usually the way they open is a lot more realistic, but that's obviously not. It's a checkpoint, and it saves your progress there. So he went onto the water, and whoa! Just double jump, get all these guys move. Okay. So we are actually making a relatively decently good time in the level anyway. Let's get up onto there. So this is, I believe, another one of Patrick's socks. I think that's what we're going for, and a lot of money, so uh, it's shiny objects rather, so why not? So, uh, we'll just move on. I'm not going to fuss over getting every shiny object and every tiki, but it's not a bad idea. So this one's really easy to get past, or you just do just like that, just move off to the side. You just break it. That's Gary! Wow! A bungee jump, so this is it's a bungee hook and you can just go like that and you die. Usually you'll have to grab tiki's or grab shiny objects or spatulas with them. Don't worry, the game does become a lot harder as the game progresses, like this this first boss level at the end of this is a bitch. 
so I'm just going to try and get through. So what I'll do with these playthroughs is I'll try and get as far through the level as I can in, I don't know, I guess like 15 or so minutes. I'm not exactly speed running because I'll stop to grab shiny objects and break tiki's and socks, but, and you know, do the extra things to get gold spatulas, but, that's Hamler. Each of those little things has a name, a robot, and a little introduction. I don't have the bubble ball. I feel deprived because I was playing this at the end of the game, after I'd finished it, and you get a lot of moves, and I look, that's really good when you get heaps of moves you can do. But these are alright for now. I'm just trying to remember where the other spatulas are. Now, I don't know if you guys have guessed this by now, but the actual, the levels in this game are actually quite long, uh, and quite large levels. Like, I mean, I know it's a kid's game, but the amount of work that obviously went into it is really insane, and... Ah, uh, see, I don't know, Bubble Bowl. Which is fine. But you can, we'll come back and do that. Oh, I'm sure there's a sock down there. Probably like a thing once you play Bubble Ball. Get rid. <laughs> if only I knew how to do Cruise Bubble, everything would be awesome. That's this awesome move that you get. Oh my god. Okay, so funnily enough. They didn't call it water, they called it goo. Uh, you cannot go in goo, otherwise you die. Well, you don't die, but you go like that. And then if you hit there again, then you die. Come on. It's the MLG red. Oh, damn it. It's trying to be risky. Edgy, but like, no. Luckily, they probably anticipated the failure, so they put the checkpoint right there. Now, can he make it back? Yeah, boy. Alright. See you later. I'm pretty sure we can... Damn it! No, uh, I'm gonna die now, so I go back to the checkpoint. That's the easiest way. If you ever lose your way, you can easily just die. And then you get teleported to the last checkpoint you were at. So that's the other teleport box I was telling you about. Um, okay, so the duplicate it's the Duplicatotron 1000, and until... See, if you see one of these in a level, it's going to keep making robots, as the name suggests, until you break it. And it does explode, so you don't want to be next to it. Button, and another spatula. I think I've missed any. So, uh, I haven't missed any. I'll end it right here, because this is the end of it. So, uh, the end of this Jellyfish Field stage, and we move on to the next bit. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.